Hi, my topic is theories of leadership, trade theory and type theory. Leadership means guiding and inspiring others to achieve goals together. People have studied leadership for a long time and there are many ideas about what makes a good leader. Some say it is about having certain qualities while others think it is about how leaders act or the situations they are in. Different theories help us to understand leadership better. In the discussion, we will explore these theories to learn more about what makes a leader effective. Theories of Leadership Trait Theory, Type Theory, Behavioral Theory, Group Theory and Path Goal Theory Trait Theory The theory, known as Trait Theory, focuses on five major leadership traits of intelligence, self-confidence, determination, integrity and sociability. The trait theory of leadership suggests that certain inborn or innate qualities and characteristics make someone a leader. These qualities might be personality factor, physical factor, intelligent factor and so on. Some of the examples of trait theory. Charisma. Possessing a presence and communication style that captivate others, excluding confidence and authority. Inspiration. The ability to inspire others through uplifting speeches and captivating communication. Type theory. The type theory of leadership focuses on categorizing leaders into different types based on their personality, characteristics or behaviors. Instead of viewing leadership as a single, uniform concept, this theory suggests that there are distinct types of leaders, each with their own inequalities and approaches to leading others. Type theory of leadership is like sorting leaders into different groups based on their personality and behavior. Instead of saying all leaders are the same, it suggests that there are different kinds of leaders. One type would be leaders who are really confident and outgoing, while another type might be leaders who are more quiet but really good listeners. Each type has its own strength and ways of leading people effectively. So. Instead of thinking there is just one way to be a leader, type theory helps us to understand that leaders come in all shapes and sizes and each type can bring something valuable to the table. In conclusion, both the type theory and trait theory of leadership offer valuable insights into understanding leadership dynamics, albeit from different perspectives. The trait theory highlights the importance of individual characteristics. The type theory acknowledges the diversity of leadership styles. Both theories contribute to our understanding of leadership by offering different perspectives and frameworks for examining leadership effectiveness. Ultimately, a per comprehensive understanding of leadership requires considering both traits and types as well as situational factor and behaviors to fully grasp the complexities of leadership dynamics. Thank you.